You. Yes, this morning we have live pictures for a special announcement. I believe we have a countdown. There it is. Five, four, three, two, one. And there you have it. WCVB is the proud exclusive media partner of the next exhibit coming to Sowa Power Station beyond King Tut. The immersive experience and our very own Rondella Richardson is there live this morning to tell us all about it. Rondella, you are exactly right. A big dig that families won't want to miss. Good morning, Doug Antoinette. This is just absolutely amazing. We're talking about the Beyond King Tut, the immersive experience. Imagine being king at nine. That is what happened back in Egypt. Joining me live this morning to explain it all is the creative producer, Welcome, Mark Locke. Thanks for being on the show early with us. Pleasure. Good this to be is with you. Just fascinating. You came face to face. You were in the Valley of the Kings in Egypt and saw the tomb. One of the great parts of my job is research. Okay. And to be able to go to Egypt, to uh, to go to the Valley of the Kings, to go into the tomb of Tutankhamun, to see the mummy there face to face, to go to the museums in Cairo and see the artifacts from the tomb, pretty spectacular. What is this that will be greeting folks when they come to the show, which opens July 8th? Well, this is the famous death mask, the solid gold death mask. When we think King Tut, I think most people think of this. And this gives you an idea, this uh, immersive experience as we know they've become more popular in recent uh, recent years uh, as people go to these large projection experiences. Mm -hmm. But this show is really a little more than that. It's also a story, a storyline. So when you go, in, go inside, you'll see spectacular images from the pages of National Geographic, but you'll also go on a journey. The discovery of the tomb, that's celebrating 100 years mm -hmm. this year. That's why we're so excited to premiere the, our exhibition here in Boston, uh, here uh, um, very soon, July 8th. The story is amazing, King Tut. I mean, this is why folks will want their children to come. He was king at age nine, died yep. at 19, total mystery about his death. And you were saying this is the first tomb discovered, uh, this show opens for the 100th anniversary yep. of the discovery, but the first tomb that actually had artifacts inside. Yes. They weren't looted. Tutankhamun probably would have gotten lost in the pages of history if it wasn't for this incredible discovery 100 years ago, an intact tomb. Uh -huh. When Howard Carter, the British archeologist, given credit, of course, for discovering the tomb, but the Egyptians had a lot to do with it as well, and we'll talk about that. But when he looked inside and someone said, can you see anything? He said, yes, wonderful things. This was an intact tomb. The things were still inside, art or uh, objects from his life and things that Tutankhamun was to take into the afterlife. Okay, and give people a little preview though. I mean, he had a club foot, so he had several canes. And several canes uh, in, what else was in, in the there? tomb. Things that would take into the afterlife, like I said, there was a, a, a bread to, to, to feed him on his journey. Uh, there were uh, models of boats as he sailed into the underworld and into the afterlife. Remember, the ancient Egyptians believed that if your name lived on throughout history, you would uh, uh, achieve eternal life. And of course, if that's true, Tutankhamun's doing quite well because we still talk about him today. What do people need to know to get tickets? Well, uh, King, beyond King Tut, dot com okay. and they uh, the wait list to get on the wait list that starts this morning right okay. now okay. so you can go on uh, uh, King, uh, beyond King Tut dot com register today and tickets will go on sale very soon thank you so much mark for bringing this to boston it's going to be great we're very excited thank okay. you rondella okay you guys we got to get in line to get our tickets because this is going to be great you're going to feel like you're going right through egypt if you can't get to the valley of the kings get down here to the soa powerhouse when this show opens it's a limited run and the end date is TBA, TBA, but they expect a lot of interest. Live in the South End, Rondella Richardson, WCVB News Center 5.